I feel like young Kevin Harvick was uh, would would like he would buck around. That's the thing; he doesn't really do it anymore. He's he had he had a kid. married they man has a kid. a kid. He's got yep. kids now. He's an old man. Like he doesn't he doesn't even get in confrontations anymore. He kind of just does his own thing. Yeah. And to I, be it, honest, I think I cling on to my hatred of Kevin Harvick because weirdly, um, over the past I would say like five six years, I've started to hate drivers less and less. I don't know why. Dude, I used to hate way. drivers a whole lot more. I hated Joey Logano. I hated Kyle Busch. I hated Kevin I used Hart. to hate Kyle Busch. I used to hate Jimmy Johnson. I was like, because yeah, every race everybody I did. went to, he won. Right. But then as he got older in Larry's career, I was, you know, I was like, what a, the goat, man. Is there any what driver an right now that you hated as much as you did like five years ago, though? No, not at all. See? Like, there's I something live, going on. I, I'm cool with all the, dri- like, I mean, there's drivers I'm like, oh, I've seen him win so much. But then, like, right, of course, there, yeah, there's yeah. not any guys I hate. But when I was younger, I guess maybe it's maturity. I don't know. When I was younger, I used to be like, fuck you. I fucking hate that guy. I hate watching him win or something You know what like I that. think it is? I think it's what? social media. We came into the age of social media where yeah, we can connect with true. these drivers all the time. Then you're like, you know what? Maybe Joey Logano isn't as much of an asshole as I thought he was. Maybe he's just a normal guy that you still wins only and see on TV. people, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. you and he, you know, right after a race, you, they put a camera in his face, and so we'll say something, and that's the last you hear of him for a week, so you fucking hate him. Social media, you just, like, see it all the time, and I think it's made me not hate drivers as much, which is kind of disappointing. I miss the age of hatred. One thing I used to always preach about was, like, the Speed Channel young kid fan days was, like, you, did, like, you could get on the internet and, like, look up stuff, but, like, you really... I mean, unless you were like a hardcore fan, you really didn't know what was going on until preseason thunder came around and the cl- or bud shootout came around and they did the drawing and drivers were up there with a new sponsor jacket right. or yeah. hat or their new ride. They were in a new car. And like back then you only had like maybe one guy went to a different team or, you know, somebody got a new number or a new sponsor. Very rarely. It wasn't like 12 guys are in different rides every year. Also, like there was a lot now. more money in the sport back then. So sponsors yes. wanted to stick around. But like back then, dude, you'd be like, "Oh shit, I didn't know he's sponsored during by DeWalt now. I didn't know, I didn't know Budweiser's went to Case Kane. You know, you you saw that and you were like glued to the TV. But now, like, I know what's happening next year in June. Like you find all this stuff out immediately on Twitter or Instagram. Right. Like boom, 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 boom. And it's like, I gotta get the news. Like every every day there's something popping up, like, oh, this is happening. Oh, this is happening. Yeah, I agree. And it is it is weird. It's a totally different era of NASCAR. I miss mm-hmm. the hatred era. I wish I want NASCAR. Who is it? Vince McMahon. I want him to come into NASCAR. <laughs> NASCAR needs Vince McMahon so he can like stage up some hatred again. Just be like, hey, Kyle Bush, get on Twitter and just like be a dickhead to people. That would be hilarious. Dude, I have a good story from Bristol. I was like 13 or 14, you know, just a dumbass kid. And I remember I hated Jim Johnson. He was one, it was like we won four or five in a right, row. Right, everybody like, did. Yeah, everybody you either hated, hated him or loved him. Either you were yes. a Jimmy Johnson fan or you were the rest of NASCAR. That was but it. we were we were at Bristol. My, my dad used to have season tickets back when in its heyday. And um we went like driver intros that come in and out of this tunnel. If you've been to Bristol, everybody knows like they come across the track and you can stand there and be like, hey, hey, and they'll look or they won't give a shit and they'll walk right by. But I remember it was like it was like it was way before the race or something. And it was kind of, it was, it was loud there, but it was quiet enough. You could yell. And Jimmy Johnson was walking by with Chad Knauss. And I was like, dude, there's Jimmy Johnson. There's Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> and I said, hey, Jimmy. And I, I yelled and it like echo. And he like snapped his head up and look. And I went, fuck you. <laughs> and I remember making eye contact with him. Like I said, fuck you. And like, yeah, I remember his face was like, little motherfucker and like he kept walking <laughs> yeah. and I, like i remember this day and then now i'm like why did i do that he was such a nice guy like he's an amazing driver i know it's come like, out that he's like he's yeah he's a nice but guy then back then i was yeah. like i can't stand you i hope you fucking die mm-hmm. yep <laughs> i always it was like professional I, wrestling back then yeah it was yeah. it was real life professional wrestling where you hated guys so much and you've kind of looked back and you're like why did i Dude. hate him again i don't really I, don't, I used I don't to be that know. way with Kyle Busch because, like, he was winning all the time and everybody right. hated Kyle right. Busch. And it was yeah. just like, fuck Kyle Busch. But then now I'm like, dude, the dude's amazing. Like, he, we are witnessing greatness. Like, he's an amazing right. driver. I appreciate Kyle Busch. But at the same time, I do think Kyle Busch is a dud. Um, I just – we need drivers with pizzazz. I mean, mm-hmm. we, 
Noah Gragson's like trying. Like I like Noah. Uh, I've met him a bunch of times and stuff. But like, he's do he's doing more than a lot of guys are. But we need like, I want drivers to get in fights. I want drivers to cuss on right. TV. I want drivers to, you know, show some personality. All right. Well, Shape. here here's here's something I'll throw at you. Hate him or love him. Bubba Wallace does do those things. Yes, he does. He, well, he that, goes out and he says he talks. He talks his mind. Remember yeah. when he threw the water on Alex Bowman? Yeah. I mean, yeah, he does I, all that shit that you're saying you you want in NASCAR. Yeah, and that and that's another thing is too is like like I, was, I think I said another thing is like I love Bubba on the track, but off the track I'm like Bubba, please be quiet. But then that's good. Like we have an into exactly. I, I don't. I like Bubba. I, I, it's like a, I'm dead on the fence with Bubba. I don't like I, Bubba. I, wanna, I don't like him. I, I don't. Ever I, since he threw the water too at Alex, I was like, you know what? Fuck that guy. He does seem like an yeah, asshole. Yeah, it was kind of shitty. I think Bubba should. I mean, I think he should lean into it.